is the multi-stage sampling. So it is the combination of one or more samplings stated earlier. So combination sa itong mga previous na probability sampling techniques. And just remember, the important principle here is that the combination of all the simple or the sampling methods described earlier is useful that will help you address in your sampling needs in the most efficient and effective manner possible. So for the first illustration, yung nagamit no kay cluster and stratified. And then I think the result is nag simple. Nang litan lang nga, nag simple random siya pag -tilian. So for this one, yung combination yung gamit. So kani, schools daw ko nun eh. So pwede ta makaingon na cluster yung gamit. Dahil ang kanil daw, random it choose the groups from the population. So cluster good I. Dahil random it choose individuals from the groups. So napilit na po siya of another specific sample and ang groups. So magda same na din sila. So another example. So the first example, consider the idea of sampling booking residents for face-to-face -face interviews. So clearly, we want to do some type of cluster sampling as the first stage of the process. Kaya mga residents man sa bukid nun inuusto. So pwede nga cluster sampling at first. Dahil yun, pwede po ka magpili of sample each town throughout the province. Di ka atong mga clusters na manapili. So no, notice that in the cluster sampling, we would then go to measure everyone in the clusters we select. So, most of the time, no, yan ang may tabu. Kaya ito mo, nagpili ramang kag specific cluster, silang tanan umuhang kwa ano data. So, even if we are, sam we are sampling census tracts, we may not be able to measure everyone who is in the census tract. So, kanisya no, yan na pong ibuhat. Ang set na lang sa certified sampling process within the clusters. So, para more possible na yung pag-aslatan sa clusters ang gi ko example. So, again, no, kung na certified, di ba, you set or you create a groupings of your kuan, population, and then pili ka each groupings. So, nga na. So, in this case, two stage siya. The first stage is cluster, and then the next one is certified sampling. Okay. So the second one, consider the problem of sampling students in grade schools. So we begin with the national sample of school districts certified by educational level. So most students, mo siyang di, di group according to their educational level. And then within this Selected districts, you will do the simple random sample of schools, kung aha ka mga samples. And then within the schools, nagkuha na po ka simple random of classes or grades. And then within the classes na po, nagsimple random na po ka para sa mga sample of students. So in this case, three or four stages na process ang gigamit. Which is first na certified ka, pato no, na certified ka sa educational level, and then ang simple random sampling na dayon ka sa district, sa school, sa classes or grades, and then for finally the selection of your student samples. So, combining different sampling methods, so you can achieve a variety of probabil probabilistic sampling methods that can be used in a wide range of social research contexts.